So I was just walking through the park, thinking how lovely it would be to have my camera so I could catalog it. And uh, right when I got all the way through the park, I realized I had my camera. So now I'm going to film a little bit. I appear to have stumbled on. Oh, no, I'll just show you. Let's see here. Cool. Look at that. And I think we've got some soccer players down on the field getting ready. They're getting ready to practice or something. Either that, or they're going to play some other game entirely and surprise me. Here we have a nice shot of the Hong Kong skyline. And then I'm going to keep walking down this road there. So eventually I might be able to find my way onto campus. Apparently there aren't too many access points from the park to uh, the university. And the one access point I did find opened at 6.15 in the morning and closed at 9.20 or something. I don't understand why. But anyway, okay. Oh, basketball. I didn't even see them playing basketball over there. So, I been trying to take more video, be a little bit better about shooting film to send back to everybody, but it's difficult, especially if uh, you're going downtown and uh, eating food. There's a lot of people, and it's hard to set up shots that make sense, or even shots that don't make sense. Yeah, and another thing is, is like, <laughs> when I've got my camera out, I really look like a tourist. Like, it's obvious enough without my camera, uh, but with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. But anyway, this is uh, part of the university right here, I think. It should be. Either that or it's some private residence. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, so all the players that were stretching, uh, they just, like, this one is going to be out there now, so I don't know what happened. Let's see here. I appear to have found the sports complex. I think there's a sports complex building here. Keep your noise to a minute. So it looks like we've got some middle school kids, uh, maybe, maybe a few other kids, but I know there's a middle school really close, close by. But it's hilarious because they're all playing basketball in their uniforms. So all I can imagine is like little office men running around. It's really funny. One thing about it though, they're a lot better than I am. Okay, so you'll see a lot of this. It's uh, kind of interesting. Uh, it's like they make fake uh, rock side with concrete. And this one they've actually painted green. Um, but this side, you can see it's just kind of left naturally. And the moss gets on it and grows. Um, some of it actually is intended to look more like rock. But um, this is their solution instead of retaining walls. And here you can see they've left the uh, openings for trees and plants and whatnot. But it kind of looks like you're on an alien planet as well. So, And then this huge trough going down the middle is their like storm drainage system. And they're always really deep because of all the rainwater runoff. So. Me, I can't get to any of this because I'm <laughs> barred in. I thought this was a walkway. It's totally not a walkway. 
yeah, real confused. So I'm gonna go crashing through the bushes, try to get back to civilization. Oh god, where am I? Okay, so this is the whole park. Um, my residence is like up here somewhere. And I came in through here, and I walked all the way around this thing, which is gonna be like a water feature for the summer. And I came over here, this is the playground. I already went there. But uh, tennis courts, lots of tennis courts. Dad would like that. Um, it was here by the time I realized I should have had my camera out. And now, oh no, I take that back. It was there, because we were in the parking lot. And then we saw the artificial turf pitch, and then the basketball courts, and what is number seven? Oh, a soccer pitch, but it's a hard surface pitch. So cool. Oh, it's right there. Oh, that's it. Okay, so if we're here, I'm gonna get on this road and try to find campus. Should <laughs> this should be campus right here? Ah, uh, here's a cool thing. Check this out. Okay, you see that tree? Yeah, there's a name tag on it. Isn't that crazy? Like, all their trees everywhere have name tags, so you know what kind of tree it is. So, like, look, if you're just walking along here, you're like, I wonder, I wonder what kind of tree that is. Oh. Oh, that's not an actual label. But that was a bad example. Oh, that's a bad example, too. Hold on. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, I wonder what kind of tree that is. This is the kind of name tag you typically see. Uh, Norfolk Island Pine and I'll tell you these trees are really cool looking they're like let's see here. Ooh. yeah look at that very pretty trees it seems like there's a few of them right here too oh look at the pretty flowers Oh wait, maybe you can't see the pretty flowers. Oh yeah. Yeah, look at the pretty flowers. Oh. So I found the other side of the alien hill. And then, uh, this is pretty interesting. Take a look at the sign here. It has a slope registration number. So in case you were curious, um, how to ID this uh, little hill, uh, then you would just look for the uh, slope registration number and it's, uh, it's right there. Okay, here's the slope registration for the crazy hill. Just in case you wanted to know it. Uh, this is a pretty impressive little thing they got here, actually. Uh-oh. Someone's, someone's chasing me. Someone's chasing me. Oh, God. Let's just move along, move along. Okay, so check this out. I, uh, I guess this is another access point for City University. You push it around, but, uh, yeah. Weirdest hours ever. 6.15 to 9, I guess. Okay. Still don't understand. Why just that limited amount of time? Curious. But it looks like a little nice, uh, pass. I might end up over there later, because I'm gonna get back onto campus eventually. But uh, when I do, I might take the tour of the, uh, this trail. Oh. So I don't know if I explained uh, the purpose of this little walk. It's actually to get breakfast. Um, I was real hungry, and I decided to try to cut through the um, park. It took me a whole block, and then going inside a building to remember the word park. So I went for a walk in the park this morning trying to find breakfast. Uh, now I'm in Academic Building 1, the purple edition. This is like the purple, I don't know, it's something purple. I think I just walked into a men's bathroom. Yep, okay, so I think I'm lost. Uh, I smelled food outside. 
I started getting really hungry again. Let's see if I can figure out where to go. Okay, so I just walked right into the middle of a uh, the engineering department building, and I almost walked into a classroom. So I I left that building, but I know where I am now. I uh, this is where I did the the first set of videos, and I found the um, nitrogen tank sitting in the corner. So yeah, we're back at this crazy place yet again on all the construction materials. Looks like they've used some of that dirt too. Okay. So now I'm gonna go get breakfast. And I like this place a lot, but the last time I was here, I tried to order um, breakfast C, as in cat, and I got English breakfast tea. So hopefully it'll go much better this time. Okay, so this is kind of cool. Uh, we're on campus right now. There's the middle school. Uh, through that window is the library, and through there is the bank. It's going pretty good. Pretty hungry. I get the chicken steak kebab. Mm -hmm. City University of Hong Kong. No fire, please. Noise prohibited. No littering. And use at your own risk. Okay, so. I am walking around the little lovely, uh, I guess this is the park associated with City University. So, I thought I'd walk through. This is the first time I've been here, actually. So, you, you guys are up for a little treat. Appears to be a lovely little pagoda down there. And, oh, I wonder what this tree is. Oh, wait. Cool. Now I know. Awesome. Let's check this thing out. This is a neat little place. I'm telling you, man, look at all these trees. They've all got name tags. It's crazy. Okay, well I hate to say it, but it looks like this might be the end. Okay, so this is how crane operators get their lunch here in Hong Kong. Uh, I was just walking by and uh, noticed this gigantic crane drop. There it goes. 